Hey everyone, it's Dylan. We're back again for another week here in the shop. Uh, if you guys have been watching us for a bit, you'll remember that a little while back we actually destroyed uh, one of the old tables we made because the epoxy started separating. Uh, go see that video if you want to see us explain why that happened. Basically, it's because we built the table wrong. We didn't know what we were doing back then and it fell apart. Anyway, we built a brand new table for this client, so you guys are going to get to see us go deliver that to them. Uh, they were really, really happy with it, so it was, it was nice, it was a good feeling to get them a new table. And then we've got some super exciting news, uh, we're expanding, the shop is going to be getting bigger, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that later on in the video. Hope you guys enjoy, and go leave a like, you guys have been awesome with that, we've been getting so much likes recently, and it really helps us out. pulled up to his place here today and we're here to deliver it for him so this, this should be kind of fun it'll feel good to, to have him give him a perfect table now yeah we'll chuck it off the balcony yeah we're gonna do that you guys like that so much we're gonna test it and throw it off the balcony <laughs> That, when you bought that table from us, we were just, just Sorry. getting going. Which is, which is fair, I know it was great. I was super happy to, uh, to have it. No, and your table, like, even though it obviously wasn't perfect, it's like one of those pieces that kind of gave us that kickstart we needed to show people, like, hey, this, this is what we yeah. can do. No, it was great. Yeah. your guys memory this was their original table here um, I know it's not fully intact um, but you can kind of see that we were able to replicate it pretty close it's the same species really similar grain it actually had like a knot hole almost in the same exact spot too so that was really really good and then we will we'll put a few pictures on the screen right now to show you what this table looked like before uh, because this is the one that got thrown off the trailer by me and Sauger so if you guys have been watching us for a while, you know that uh, we don't have that much room in our shop and a lot of the time it is really, really tight and squishy in here like it is right now. There's just crap. It's not crap, but there's stuff everywhere. Um, we've been making some changes in here. Like this kind of used to be wasted space. We put in our new totes. This is actually what $50,000 of resin looks like. Uh, we just got these in here recently. Uh, we, we, we're storing these in the, against the wall now but we already don't really have enough space, so we head outside here. We're actually expanding. Um, we, we bought a bay in the same building that we're in right now. Unfortunately, it's not directly adjacent, so it's not gonna be connected, but it's the best we got right now. So we'll, we'll go over here and we'll show you. 
Terry's truck is here. I don't know why. This is our neighbor, Lewis. He's actually our mechanic. He does work on my truck and stuff, and my dad's truck. And then this is the bay that we're gonna be getting here. So there's, we get both these doors. Um, it goes all the way down to the other side. There's unfortunately not really anything you guys can see in there right now, but we're gonna be fully gutting this place. So we're blowing all the walls down and it's basically just gonna get all lined with slabs on the inside. It's just gonna be full of slabs, burls, all kinds of crazy stuff, whatever we can fit in there. So that's probably in like the next two weeks we'll be moving into this. Wow, look who's back. It's Mike here, Gary Parsons Trucking out of Ontario brought us oh my god look at this you guys just an absolutely amazing load of lumber from our best supplier in canada it uh hardwoods walnut ash maple slabs cookies unbelievable load of material here today we're just gonna have a blast spencer's gonna get it all unloaded and put in the shop yeah it, by lunchtime and it's gonna be a good day you guys Starting to get the truck opened up here. Look at this, walnut, walnut, walnut. Jeez Louise, look at that lift of walnut. Just full of 10, 12 inch wide, eight quarter boards here. Beautiful eight, nine footers. Look at that, holy crow. the trailer and uh, as you can see we've got quite the pile of wood now um, we Brad just went he's going to pick up a new sea can and hopefully we can fit this all in there okay so in front of us here uh, is a pour that Sagar and I did last weekend and what we did is we poured like this clear blue basically like you could see right through yeah, it you can see right through it and then we put white in. Uh, we were trying to make this like 3D effect. Maybe grab one of those coasters. We'll show you what we're trying to do there. We're trying to do this 3D effect uh, where the white kind of mixes in with the clear, but not 100% so that you have sections of clear and sections of white. Um, it's not the best example, but you yeah. can see over there. The good thing is this client did give us full creative freedom. Now, if you look at the table, we did not get 100% of the effect we were going for. There still is some cool sections, but it actually looks pretty similar to the top side of this piece. And when we saw the top side of this, you know, we weren't super thrilled, but then we took it out of the mold, we flipped it over, and it looked like that, which is a lot cooler. So we don't know if this is gonna happen, but our hope is that the bottom of this thing might kind of look like that. So we're gonna take it out and find out. Fingers crossed. Good job there. You're doing it for me now. Watch out, bud. I'm just gonna make something. Not at all. 
Okay, well I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing us hand off that new table uh, back to the owners. They, again, like I said, they were really happy. Um, next week, we've got a few things scheduled. We're going to be doing a few pours. It's actually our first table that we've ever sent to Norway. And we've got a bunch of tables shipping out. I think our first table we've ever shipped to Trinidad and Tobago is shipping out next week. And then what I want to hear from you guys, let us know if you kind of want to see the process of us building a new wood shop. Like we're going to be taking over that space, fully demolishing everything, and then kind of setting up a new little store, live edge slab storage area. Um, so let us know if that's kind of what you guys want to see. And we will see you next week. In the office right now have like a ton of clothes. Um, they are, it's all from Tomorrow's Laundry. So this company is actually owned by one of our clients, Robbie. What's Robbie Yali. Yali? Yala, I think. Yala, yeah, Robbie Yala. And um, we're doing some sign backdrops for his company where his models are going to wear the clothes and they're going to have these wooden backdrops. And then he actually hooked up our whole shop with like a little care package with their name on it and their size. Seems like really nice clothing too. So we'll, we'll try it on and we'll, we'll show you guys how it looks. Oh. Mr. Ben. And then they also requested you to take off your shirt and wear it. Oh, film oh. it. Woo. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. Oh, what do you think? Really it's nice. Yeah? Yeah? There you go, Robbie. Good fit? Yeah, it is. Actually. <laughs> it's a good fit. It's really soft.